In this tutorial, you will discover how to create a stacked plot using Origin Pro. Stacked graphs are useful when you are dealing with data sets where two or more variables have almost same values. Firstly, we will explain when a stacked plot is needed. For example, if we use a line graph, it is hard to see changes for all the different data because the differences between the values are very small. The bar graph is a better choice, but it is difficult to spot the data trends easily. So, to solve this, let us create a stacked graph. First, select the all columns of your data, then go to plot, choose multi-panel axis, and select stack. Carefully, take a close look at the settings configurations displayed on the screen. Feel free to adjust the values as you wish or according to your needs. You can keep the legend or y-axis labels or both. However, since the y-axis labels are overlapping in our case, we will remove them and retain the legend entries. Let us relocate the legends to a more suitable position. We are adjusting the format of the x-axis labels. Keep in mind that each plot is drawn on a separate layer. For instance, if we have three plots, they are placed on three separate layers with the top plot on layer 3, the middle one on layer 2, and the bottom plot on layer 1. Notice how the unit labels on the y-axis are overlapping. Therefore, we will shift the middle y-axis from the left side to the right side. Next, we will ensure that the scales of each plot are consistent. The top and bottom plots already share the same y-axis scales, so we will adjust the scale for the middle plot accordingly. Let us get rid of any unnecessary white space on the graph. We will enhance the visualization by increasing the line widths of all plots. Now, let us focus on formatting to improve the overall appearance. We will proceed by adjusting the x-axis scales. If you wish to remove the x-axis labels from the top, you can follow this procedure. Additionally, you have the option to add or remove line and tick labels from specific plots by selecting the line and ticks tab and choosing the desired plot layer. And there you have it. These are the final results for the required stacked plot. Let us know in the comment section what you think about this video. Do not forget to like the video and subscribe to our channel for more content like this.